Okay, hey everybody. So now you have determined your learner and uh, you know lots about your learner, which is great. And you've looked at the results that you want your learner to have. Um, again, as specifically as possible. So you have your learner and then you have your results, right? So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start now mapping out what's happening in the middle, right? So your learner is here, they have this problem um, or this, this sort of issue that they have going on and then here's where you're going to give them the solution. So in between here is all of the steps that they need to go through in their journey in order to get over here to where they have the solution. So a lot of times what happens when people start looking at what are they gonna teach is that, um, again, they look at it from sort of that content-centered place, right? So, uh, and this is you know not anyone's fault because this is what we were taught when we were in, in school, right? Is that you created a topic outline, right? So you create an outline and you start at the top and it's Roman numeral one, introduction, um, ABC, and then num Roman num numeral two, um, you know, main point one or whatever, and then you keep going down, right? So you're you're going down in this vertical manner, and it's, you know, top down in terms of information, 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 which is which is fine, um, but what happens is it tends to be um, very content focused. It tends to be very topical. So what you're doing is you're talking about topics. Like this is an interesting topic that I want to cover about this, um, you know, this course that I'm creating. This is a super interesting topic that I want to cover. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, here are all the sub points that I would talk about with that. And then what happens is all of a sudden you have um, you have lots of modules and you have lots of lessons, which is amazing, and you can sit there and talk about them all day. But what happens is you're not you're not taking them down the path, right? So you're not looking at that learner and their problem and going and just giving them the solution and then the providing them the steps in between, you tend to be giving them lots of little topics um, that may get them to the solution and ultimately probably will, but the the journey that they're going through is is long and windy because they have to they have to figure out how all these topics um, will will end up here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that topic outline and we're gonna flip it and we're gonna make it horizontal. And we're gonna focus on the learner over here and the result here. And then we're gonna look at the steps that they need to take in order to get to that result, right? So we're talking about a journey. We're talking about, you know, this learner is starting here and then they need to take the first step. And the first step probably, to be honest, is just to get them ready, right? So we just wanna prepare them for the journey that they're gonna go on, right? Like you think about it, like you don't go on a, on a camping trip um, in the in the wilderness without preparing, right? There's things that you have to do to get ready. You don't start running a marathon without training for the marathon. So there's this probably first step that's just preparing them. They may have some some stuff going on, right? So we wanna prepare them and then they're gonna be prepared, ready to go, and then we're gonna take them on the next step. And the next step may just be, you know, just that first that first piece and then we're going to go to the second piece and then we're going to go to the third piece right all the way up until we get that solution so we're going to do it based on that learner's journey and what they need to do in order to be successful not what they need to know in order to be successful but what they need to be able to do so one of the best ways to think through this is like i said we're going to create a horizontal uh learner journey map and and that should be below um, in the handouts, um, it, it, you know, you're going to start here and then you're going to put in all the steps. It doesn't matter if all of the steps are perfect at this point, just start sketching them out. They need to do this first and then they need to do this and they need to do this, right? Now the tendency that you're going to have is you say, well, but they need to know this and they need to know this other thing and they need this information and they need that, that information. And that's fine. All of that will come. Um, but I don't want you to worry about it yet. What I want you to do is I want you to just think about what they need to be able to do. Um, and the critical piece about this is when you're talking about what somebody needs to be able to do, that's a, an action verb, right? So every one of these steps should start with an action verb. Um, evaluate, uh, 
<laughs> no, I can't think of grow, uh, apply, examine, work on, right? All these things are action verbs. So, um, so that's what we need to be focused on. When you um, do a step that's like, they need to understand this, or they need to know this, or um, this, this um, piece is important for them to know, right? Anytime you hear yourself doing that, that's not going to be a step along the journey. That's going to be something that's going to support the journey, but not be a step on the journey. So make sure that you're focused on that action verb when you're pulling, uh, putting out your steps. And again, it doesn't matter right now whether or not you have all the steps or if you have a million steps, please don't have a million steps. But if you do, don't worry about that. Just get it all out, which is why like a lot of times I do this on flip charts, um, which I showed you with uh, post-it notes because I can move them around and switch them. Um, but all I wanna do is just get it out there. What are the steps that they need to go from A to B? And when you can get that down, then you are so far ahead of the game because the rest of it is just becomes easy because you're just teaching, right? And so this is a critical piece that you'll need to spend some time on. And I will tell you, you're not gonna be able to do this when we're talking um, in, in this particular video, right? So you're gonna have to go and spend some time with this. Now the, the worksheet I have on, uh, below will allow you to kind of move things around and map it out. Um, but don't be afraid to grab a big thing of uh, flip chart paper and post-it notes and start kind of moving things around. There's no right or wrong answer for this. Um, it is your um, method and your uh, model. And what's gonna happen is this journey with the steps is gonna become your framework and it's your signature framework in terms of how you're teaching it because the way that you're gonna come up with your framework is different than anyone else um, because it's gonna be based on your expertise and your learner and the result that you're looking for. So it's gonna be super powerful, but this is how you get that framework is start with the learner, start with their results, and then figure out what the path is in between. What is that journey that they're gonna go on in between and the steps that they need to, um, to get to get to the solution, right? So that's your first activity, focus on that. Um, really get that learner journey mapped out and, uh, and you'll start to see it all sort of come together. And, but stop yourself when you start talking about information, right? It, it, and I think everybody understands what information is versus action, um, but focus only on the action right now and we'll come back and fill in the information later. Okay, so it'll, it'll come, don't worry, right? Any of that important information that you wanna talk about, we'll fill that in, uh, but right now, it's just about the action. So let's think about your learner kind of taking a little path, right? Um, they're, they're actually moving through a little path. Think about that as you go from where they are today to where you want them to be, and that, that is where um, your sweet spot will be in terms of your framework. So let's get that built out and then we'll keep moving forward.